Hey friends, welcome back to my competitive live commentary series where I guess what is the most used loadout at a certain rank, and today we're at Adept rank. Copper and Bronze had a mess up but still get some mileage kind of setup. Silver and Gold had a throw abilities because I don't quite have the gun skill yet. Platinum is I have the gun skill but not really the game knowledge, game experience, and that's what Adept continues on. Adept recognizes what is the best gear but doesn't necessarily use it to its greatest potential. They don't quite have a game plan and they use this very overpowered kit in order to get like junk food kills where they are just slightly better than their opponent and they don't really understand exactly what kind of mistakes they're making because they just haven't played against good enough opponents yet to really tighten up their play and remain disciplined. Another part of Ascendant that differentiates from Adept is that Ascendant players are typically more passionate and will break all the gentlemen's agreements just to get that win in. And it's a much dirtier, unbalanced game that is really difficult to play against when other players are doing the same thing. All that being said, let's talk about this Warlock in front of you. This is the strongest warrior, but they're all so close. Any of them could have taken the top spot. I'm going to explain this one first, then I'll give you all the alternative placements here. So at the top, Conditional Finality, that counters Bubble and Well, which are the most common things that you see in these ranks. Conditional uh, Igneous Hammer, Precision Instrument, will allow you to 3-tap a Void Overshield, which Void Titan provides. It also is an incredible team shot weapon and has enough range to play pretty much any map, barring a couple exceptions that I'll get to in tomorrow's video. The power weapon, they finally feel comfortable using rockets and grenade launchers, but swords also come up here too. Full court on a grenade launcher like this with proximity nades will allow you to one hit at a pretty far distance, but you can just go spike and maybe shoot two per player with the lucky direct impact that nets the kill for you. Also speed boots. Why speed boots or Ophidians? Ophidians for the handling to get between your two weapons. Transversive steps for the extended slide so you can better position yourself with conditional finality for the one hit kill. And to just play your life better with Igneous. Sometimes you'll notice that just one slide is the difference maker between a three tap versus a four tap. Speed boots get you to the highly contested areas of the map first, so you are prepared and ready. The reason Dom Blade is so lethal is because of Icarus Dash to help you fix mistakes by dodging away or gain some speed flying forward to catch an opponent or just retain the power position of the map. Healing Grenade. The Enhanced Healing Grenade goes crazy as another mistake fixer, but you could also opt for Heat Rises and go Fire Bolt just to have a faster cooldown and float around the map. But in today's commentary, I believe I did Healing Nade Enhance. So the theme is the Adept player is missing some overall game plan. They're lacking a little bit of experience, and they really just need to scrim a little bit with Ascendant style players or Beyond Ascendant style players to really understand the potency of this kit. So let's talk about the other warriors now. The other warriors are Void Titan and Arc Titan with their speed boot, Dune Marchers in this case. They're going to also be using Conditional Igneous. And then there's a third one for Titan, and that would be Peacekeepers, the other speed boot with a submachine gun and a Cloud Strike Sniper. That's typically what it is. And the submachine gun can be a mortal, unending tempest. In my case, I use multi mock in this gameplay. It's all very, very, very good. Hunter brings to the table usually Strand, Void, or sometimes you see Stasis. Sometimes you see Solar. Really any flavor of Hunter with Stompies, Conditional, and Igneous. But there is another. Omnioculus with Drang and Chaperone goes crazy on Hunter. It's one of the most junk food ways of getting kills. And a lot of players just make themselves invis, get a little bit of damage resistance, and fly forward for that easy junk food kill because they got the gun skill like that. Most players do in these Adept and Ascendant ranks. We cannot forget about no time to explain. This is the lobby balancing weapon. When you know you have bad teammates, this weapon can do it. And you might see it in tomorrow's Ascendant gameplay where I talk about how Ascendant players sort of break Gentleman's Agreement and use the entire game as well as they're just overall more experienced and they have a game plan. I'll talk about it more specifically tomorrow. I hope you enjoy the gameplay today. See you in the next. Join in progress. Let's get it. Interesting.
grenade prevents me from doing what I need to do. Just chilling. Yeah, that teammate strafe was rough. Okay, I think we have the match under control. I'm gonna move past the flag and keep putting in damage. I block teammates path, that sucks. I can't beat a rift, so we're just gonna reposition. Get some power ammo. I know someone's to my left, so I just wanna do what I can. Like teammates have cleaned up a little bit. I think that's the uh, bubble dead, so I'm gonna reposition. T steps can do the bulk of my reloading, I've forgotten about this. Glitch. I'm faster than those swarms, so it doesn't really matter. Remember, I have T-Steps. Outnumbered. Keep moving. Regroup. Don't let them angle me out. Help my team not die, though. Gonna push ahead of the flag and start slaying. This, remember the snake angle? They can't do anything to me as long as I just keep sliding it. Seven bullets? I'm fine. I have enough. It might not reach me. Ah, oh, it did. I was banking on it not being enhanced. I can't peek until Sacred Flame goes away. Teammate might kill me. Snake. Ready on my grenade to heal if I anticipate someone shooting me in the back. Ice flare bullets, jump. I almost have a well, so I can use that to counter pop in a sec, if I have to. Oh, I'm definitely doing that. Now we cap C while they cap A, and I have a well ready to go. Ready to heal teammates. I'm not actually leaving this flag, because otherwise no one will cap it. And now we just win by attrition. Just chill. For whatever reason, he knew there was a well around the corner and peeked. Sacred flame. My HUD didn't identify that, though. Remember the snake? There, well's gonna break in a sec. Gotta be prepared. Huge. And there you go. Igneous hammer, great at every range. If you jiggle peek, doesn't matter what your time to kill is. Your burst damage is better. You can combo burst damage with your conditional finality for even farther effective range, etc. You have a get out of jail free card with your healing nade. You are literally the fastest class with Icarus dash and then the reload so you can use something like ricochet rounds to have a more consistent weapon. If I really wanted to, I could switch off touch of flame and go heat rises. This class is very flexible, but I would say that's more of an ascendant trait, not an adept trait. That being said, you could also switch to Fusion Nade, shoot him once with Igneous, throw the fusion, and that's your pick opportunity. It's a lot of ways to be flexible here. I'm switching to post commentary right now just to let you know the rest of the clips that are going to be playing are pretty much going to show you some junk food setups that you see around this rank 
where it's just good weapons that get you kills for having good enough gun skill. And you don't really think about it beyond that. You'll accumulate game knowledge as you play more, but you really just don't put it into practice at this rank. There was a two-tap, Golden Tricorn. See y'all in the next. Case in point of Icarus Dash being busted. Full court. My metric for controller was when I started getting accusations on it. I was like, finally, I'm good at controller. Walking wolf. <laughs> Dude, compared to using Outbreak, this felt easy. Huh? What's going on? <laughs>